back. Here's a look at our Tower Cam time lapse. The Valley News Live Storm Team Sky Cam Network shot in Fargo. Snow showers as we meet our way through the morning and a, a little bit of uh, a few peaks of sun as we meet our way through early afternoon. High temperatures today into the lower 20s. Right now we are seeing just mainly cloudy skies and it is seasonably cold for this time of year. High temperatures across the area, lower 20s in Fargo, 19 at Valley City, a high of 20 at Jamestown. Into the mid-teens as you make your way across portions of northwestern Minnesota and Devil's Lake, a high of 18 degrees for the day today. We're down to 13 in Fargo, 14 at uh, Park Rapids, 12 at Fergus Falls, 11 at Jamestown, Thief River Falls at 12, and Devil's Lake also at 12 degrees right now. So the wind speed's making it feel a little worse. We're seeing winds from the northwest. That's a cold direction, say 10 to 20 miles per hour, some higher gusts, especially across portions of Lakes Country, but the wind should subside as we go through the evening. Wind chill map looks like this. We're seeing some areas with below zero wind chills. Out toward Bemidji, we're seeing a below zero wind chill. Bedette at four below, zero at Thief River Falls. Devil's Lake at two below. So is Cooperstown. Carrington at seven below, and Jamestown holding at two below. So definitely bundle up if you have any plans over the next couple of hours. Mainly cloudy skies, a few passing snow showers around the area, especially into our South Dakota counties, and one snow shower that just moved through Grand Forks and is now just off to the south, but everybody else staying mainly dry. Here's a closer look. As you can see, the snow showers are now just off to the south of Ellendale, between Ellendale and Aberdeen. Now, as we uh, take a look at the uh, national map, we have this low pressure system working its way out, but a high is working in. It's giving us that northwesterly flow. The high will clear us out in terms of cloud cover as we go through the overnight, and the winds will start to subside. Temperatures across the area falling through the single digits, lows in the lower single digits tonight, and then we'll see a slight southerly flow set up for the day tomorrow. So temperatures back into the teens in most areas, partly cloudy skies as we stay dry, and it will be seasonably cold for evening plans on Saturday, most of us into the upper single digits and lower teens. High temperature 16 in the Fargo area, uh, starting off with some sunshine, then clouding up, turning partly cloudy as we go through the afternoon with a light breeze. Other temperatures show lower teens as you make your way across northwestern Minnesota and near 20 and to the Oaks, Wapaton, and out toward Jamestown area. Now, as we go through the day on Sunday, we do have a slight chance of a snow shower, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy, and temperatures about 5 degrees colder, high temperatures into the Southern Valley, around 10 degrees, which will feel warm as we uh, go through next week. Here's the photo of the day. It's called Frosty Minnesota Morning in Goodrich. Thank you, Allison, for this one. Using the background of the seven-day forecast. And there's your slight chance of some snow showers near 10 on Sunday, a high of five below zero Monday and Tuesday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies near zero on Wednesday with overnight lows in the Southern Valley near 20 below zero, a lot colder up north. Another chance of some snow showers on Thursday, but mainly dry through the week. Four degrees for Thursday and more cold air on Friday, three below zero. All right. Thanks, Justin. Mm -hmm.